Hi, I'm Clarence from St. Paul, Minnesota, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Peace. You healthy? Sure hope you are. I'm doing good. I woke up feeling great. It's going to be a good day. I hope it's going to be a good day. So uh, today when I'm filming this is Wednesday, March 18th. I realize you, you watch this several days later, and that's kind of weird when I do that because it's, it's a little behind, but I want to let you know that the things I talk about today are probably old news by now. So just so you know why. Uh, you sort of got to take this and sort of like a, a look into the past of how things were then. So as of today, uh, the U.S.-Canada border has been closed to all traffic except trade and essential personnel. So it doesn't affect me and my job. I can still cross the border for trade to, to deliver freight and pick up freight and bring it back. That's, that's as of today. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, if it's going to be different. Uh, right now I've got a potential reload that's going to take me home for mid next week. I'm going to finish this load off uh, day after tomorrow, Friday afternoon in British Columbia, around Kelowna. And then uh, I have a reload, two possible reloads that don't really pay, they, they don't really pay really well. Uh, we're still looking around for some better paying freight, but these are tough times and I'll take what I can get. So those loads are taking me back home. So I'd be home Tuesday or Wednesday next week in about a, mid next week. At which point I'll be making a decision. Do I want to stay home for a while or is there freight to keep me moving? If there is freight to keep me moving, I'm going to keep moving. I have to keep working through this. People need their stuff and I also need to pay my bills. So uh, I'm fortunate enough to live live and work in an environment that is completely 100% disinfected now, that I'm pretty much self-quarantined and self-isolated, so I can keep working. My problem is if companies and manufacturers and shippers stop making stuff for me to haul, that's where the problem comes in. So we'll see what happens next week when I get home, but I do have a plan to get home right now next week. Uh, I'll see how I'm feeling at that point. I'll see how Britt's feeling, and if we're both have no symptoms, uh, I may just stay home and bite the bullet. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm taking it one day at a time here. Everything changes so quickly. So, I know you're watching this in the future. I don't know if things have gotten worse or if they've gotten better. Let's hope that you're watching this in a better world. Because, uh, Right now, it doesn't look so good. It doesn't look so good, but we'll be okay. We're gonna make it through. I'm in Swift Current, Saskatchewan right now, and I've gotta make it up to St. Paul, St. Paul, Alberta, which is a full day's drive from pretty much eight hours drive from here. Not even seven hours drive from here. Won't make it there today before they close, so I can take my time today. I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. I've got three deliveries around Edmonton and St. Paul to do tomorrow, and then we head off to uh, Quinzel, BC, and then we have uh, four drops to do in British Columbia, right? Yeah, three or four to do in British Columbia on Friday, and I have to get unloaded Friday afternoon so that I might have to deadhead and pull my trailer empty back out to Alberta and pick up a load here. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's get this day on the road. Let's get show on the road. We got some driving to do. Before we leave town, I just swung in here to the Walmart. It's bright and early again. Sorry, I had a crazy manager come out there and yell at me that I wasn't supposed to park there for whatever reason. But whatever. We're here at Walmart in Swift Current. Before we leave town, we figured we'd come in and check what the shelves look like. This is the cleaning aisle. Not everything has, is gone. Not everything, it's, it's actually doing pretty good, I think. The Kleenex over here, looks like they have a limit of one. Oh, I see they have limits put on here now. So it's not too bad, they're doing a pretty good job restocking. So this is dishwashing detergent. Not too bad, they still have some stuff left. It's mostly the natural stuff that gets left till the end but I mean they're restocking as fast as they can I mean the trucks can only go so fast right 
The automotive department seems to be stocked pretty well. People aren't as worried about clearing out their cars as they are their homes, right? It's the hand soap aisle. Not everything's gone. Not everything's gone. I went and walked up to that lady who was rude to me out in the parking lot. And she uh, didn't recognize me. I was just saying, oh, I'm just seeing what you have in stock. You know, waiting on your truckers, eh? She's like, yeah, yeah, we're waiting on our trucks to get here. Thank God for the truckers. Like, yeah, the ones that you treat like garbage. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that didn't say it. So we're looking for hand sanitizer, see if they have any. So there's no hand sanitizer here either. Sold out, but they did get a shipment in of uh, Wet Ones Antibacterial Hand Wipes. Kills harmful germs. But does it kill COVID-19? Number one in Canada. Really? Well, I got number one. Okay, I feel good now. So there's 40 wipes in here. I got a couple of these. And just for my face, I got uh, Wet Ones Hand and Face Wipes just so I can keep my face clean just in case I do touch my face because I'm, I'm always touching my face. Gently cleanses skin. But I only got one of these because this does not have the same thing on here. I, I'm not a I'm not a wet ones professional. Uh, this one does not say kills germs. This one does. So this is antibacterial and this is just a hand and face wipe. So I figured it'd be nice to have this for my face because this is probably not good to put on my face too much. So I can wipe my face down with this. It does say one of the ingredients is alcohol, so that should kill off germs. It just doesn't say on here that it... And it's assembled in the USA. What do you know? Not even made in China. How about this one? You made? made in the USA with global materials. I give up. Is everything made in China? Do I trust this if this comes from China? I don't. No, we better disinfect these things now, because these things probably came from China. Now I gotta disinfect these things. You know, I'm gonna disinfect it with the with with the wipe. With its own wipe. Oh, it smells nice. I'm gonna have to disinfect these things. It came from China. How do I get this thing started? They make this very difficult, childproof. Okay, so open it up, you, you stick it through. I think that's how you do it. Okay, now it's sealed. Pull one out. Oops, I don't think I was supposed to stick my finger in there like that. Seal it back up. Okay. Antibacterial goodness. And it smells like citrus. Mm. Wipe down all of these containers, because you know they probably came from China. Wipe down all of that, all of this. Everything is made in China. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can read this or not. On the bottom here, it says, assembled in the USA. You're like, cool. Assembled in the USA. Does that mean made in the USA? <laughs> no. No. Look, this one here says... Uh, where does it say? At the bottom here. Can you read it? I'll read it for you. Made in the USA with global materials. Which pretty much means it's assembled in the USA. So, which means it's made in China in separate pieces. And then they ship those separate pieces over to the USA and then the USA puts those pieces together. So it's made in China. Which means you wipe it down. I don't know where their factories are. This factory could have been in Wuhan. I'm not taking any chances with that. Are you kidding me? Am I going crazy? I'm only half joking right now. Acting a little bit for the camera, but I, I am a little bit nervous. I am gonna still, I am serious about wiping these down and that'll be good for me for a while so if everybody else would just stop hogging everything I wouldn't have to feel like I need to hog some stuff I just I just want enough in my truck here so that I can keep my truck clean right and these are gonna be for wiping down my phone my e-log here like a uh, e-log system my GPS my GoPro you guys right there keep you guys all clean and uh, Yeah, that, that, that's that. So I'm good. I'm good. I don't need hand sanitizer if I've got this. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Now you guys are all... Okay. I'm not panicking. 
I am not panicking. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't play with the bag. <laughs> that is not hoarding. That is just being... Because everybody else keeps buying them. It took me four days just to find that. And there was lots on the shelves. There's lots. They had cases on top of there too, so I didn't take the last ones. Don't make me feel bad. You are nuts. You're crazy, man. It's just a bug. It's gonna pass by. No problem, man. Don't worry. Stop, stop worrying. Stop panicking, man. I know. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Everyone keeps telling me, don't panic. The government keeps telling me, don't panic. No, nothing, nothing to worry about here. Why is the heater still on in here? It's cooking in here. Don't panic. Everything's fine. Don't panic. We're just going to shut down the entire world. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. We're just shutting down the entire world. But don't panic. Everything is okay. Stay in your houses. Don't leave your houses. Don't get in groups of more than 10 people. Everything is cancelled. But don't panic. All right, well, this is me not panicking. What? Don't laugh at me. I know you're doing the exact same thing. Don't panic, they say. Don't panic, they say. Don't panic. Everything is just fine. And here I am wiping my face down with a wet one. Everything's fine. We're all good. It's all good. So should I wipe my ears down too? I don't know. How am I supposed to do this? I don't know what the protocols are. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I think, I think we're good. This was the hand and face one. So I'm guessing it's good for your face. Okay. Clean. I know you're doing the exact same thing. <gasps> oh no, I didn't clean these things. I cleaned them yesterday. You think they're still good? Just the parts that touch my face. What? I think we're good. <gasps> I didn't clean my keys. Okay. Okay. I touch these whenever I start the truck, right? Uh oh, my nose is running. Can I wipe it? Better wipe it with this. This is clean. There you go. There you go. I am not going to get sick. Crazy doomsday people got me all panicked. But I'm not panicking. Truck is running. We got all day. 12 hours and 36 minutes of remaining drive time. 12 hours and 36 minutes. Okay, so this entire surface in this truck, every surface in here has been disinfected uh, every morning. My glasses, you saw me, my face, my hands, my steering wheel. So everything I touch in here is fine. It's when I leave the truck. That's where the germs are. Did I do my seatbelt? Yeah, I did. Everything I touch. Everything I touch. Did I do this? Go away, germs! Trucker Josh. Germaphobe. I'm new to the club. Uh, I'm not quite sure how this club works yet, but at least I'm not in this alone. My face feels kind of warm after I cleaned it with that thing. The package says it's for hands and face. Why does my face feel warm? Weird. Okay, everybody don't panic. We're going to roll down the road and listen to the news to make sure that we don't panic. Turn our lights on. 
so people can see us. In all honesty, guys, though, I'm kind of playing this up right now. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to be as panicked as this, but uh, I do want you guys to be safe and just uh, maybe keep in mind some extra hygiene. That's sort of what I'm doing right now. I'm just more aware of my hygiene. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta panic. I'm, I'm just making jokes for the camera here. Uh, everything's fine. I'm not freaking out. But, uh, <laughs> I guess I do sort of want to highlight the mindset of a lot of people right now. Because a lot of people are panicking like crazy. But I don't blame them. If they can't get the supplies they need, that's why the only reason I bought these wet wipes now is because they had a lot of them in stock. And all the hand sanitizer was sold out. But this stuff was left there. Meters. Turn left on Highway 4. So at least now I don't need to go and get any more until probably this whole thing blows over, hopefully. I'll be just fine. You don't got to worry about me. And when I get home, I'm sure my mom has like a stockpile of sanitizer somewhere and soaps and stuff. She, she has a lot. But then again, I don't really want to... Uh, we can't congregate, remember? What a weird world we're living in. Diesel, did you fart? Really? It smells like air fresh here in here, man. It's way too clean. It smells like fart in here. It wasn't me. I'd claim that. That was a good one. Be proud of that. Woo! Let's open the windows. There you go. Share that with the world. Meters. Turn right on Highway 4. So yeah, I'm uh, hoping you guys are all okay. So we're, we're gonna leave Swift Current now. We have uh, the rest of the day. We're about 600 kilometers from, uh, or like close to 400 and some miles from our destination that we're gonna deliver tomorrow morning. That guy over there was not supposed to use that entrance. There was big signs saying exit only. And now you're stuck, you're not gonna be able to turn around, bud. Uh-oh. That's why they had that. They're always gonna go for it anyways. So I'm stopping here for some fuel uh, because they got DEF pumps here. I'm in Lloydminster, Alberta. I wanna fuel up and top up my tanks to make sure that, uh, make sure my tanks are topped up. Just in case, you know, just in case. He doesn't know what to do now. He's stuck back there. He can't make his U-turn, or maybe he's going to wait for this pump. I have no idea. He came in the wrong entrance. So, is this guy's done in front of us here. I'm going to roll forward, grab some fuel, top up my DEF, and we'll be on our way to St. Paul, Alberta. I called the customer there already, and they are prepared for us first thing in the morning, which is 9 a.m., so we gotta sleep in a little bit. Then we gotta rush over to Edmonton, deliver there, and then rush over to Barhead, Alberta, I think. Wherever that is, deliver there. And then we go 500 miles to our next stop, which is in Quinzel, uh, British Columbia, BC. You have seven hours and 45 minutes of remaining drive time. Plenty of time. I got 156 kilometers to go, or 90 miles. I think I should be able to do that in under 7 hours and 45 minutes. So we're now in Alberta. Beautiful Alberta. Wonderful Alberta. Continue on this road for 57 kilometers. So far, it's all been business as usual. All the businesses are open. I've noticed that some restaurants are closed. Tim Hortons is closed. Uh, well, not closed, it's just closed to dine-in. You have to uh, do takeout or drive-through. Uh, you know, other than that, everything seems to be, everyone's trying to stay open as much as they can. Everyone's still gotta make a living, you know? I heard that in some US states, they're shutting down liquor stores. I don't know what that has to do with anything, because it's not usually a big group of people in a liquor store. I guess it depends what neighborhood you're in. But I, I wouldn't see the point in closing them. I mean, some people like to go and grab a bottle of wine. I mean, you're quarantining people inside their houses for weeks and weeks at a time. You're not going to let them go buy a six pack of Bud Light, nothing? I think that's going to upset more people than anything. <laughs> 
I don't see why they'd close that down. But whatever. So far up here, it looks like everything is just pretty much business as usual. I was thinking of going into the Walmart here and uh, taking a quick peek, see if they have anything, but I think I'll drive past this one. I'll skip it. I don't wanna go in there. I know what the result's gonna be. Sold out of hand sanitizer. I'm fine, I got lots of these disinfecting wipes. I'll be fine. No need to panic, right? No need to hoard. Oh, I just like one. I don't want to hoard them. I just want one. But at this point, I might buy two if there's two there. I'm just saying. It's so weird. It's so weird. Like, I parked here beside Boston Pizza. Park on the street here. So I'll wait here for my delivery tomorrow. But I just walked down the street a little bit to go. Uh, there's a giant tiger here, which is sort of like... Uh, Sort of like a, another kind of version of Walmart, but it's not quite as nice, but it, it's nice, whatever. I went in there to see if they had hand sanitizer. Yeah. Went over to co-op over there to see if they had hand sanitizer. No. And I'm walking down the street, down Main Street, and everything is like a ghost town. The only places that are open really are gas stations. Uh, liquor stores were still open. Um, and there's some people parked at the hotel over there. They're still open. But it's like 6.30 in the afternoon and everything is just dead. Boston Pizza is still open. Pizza. I didn't want to go in anyway, but they're not open for dining. I could only do takeout, so I ordered my pizza from out here and I'm just going to walk over there and get it when it's ready. How strange to live through this. The whole country, coast to coast. We're all in it together. Eh? We're all trying to get through this together. All having the same experience. Like back in the day during the Spanish flu and the Black Death and stuff, things were much different. Communication wasn't the same. You couldn't instantly communicate with people like overseas and even across the country. And now it's it's like everybody's in on it. Everybody knows what's going on, and we've all collectively agreed in this social distancing plan. That's what they're calling it, right? We've all collectively agreed that, you know, we're all just going to keep to ourselves for a couple of weeks. And everybody's listening. Everybody's obediently keeping their distance. You know, when I went into the stores, uh, the tellers were uh, sanitizing the counters, the counter space, after every customer sanitizing the keypad if they used a card after every customer uh, all wearing gloves i haven't seen anyone wearing masks yet maybe we're not at that point maybe give it another week but my stomach is grumbling i'm so hungry i can't wait for this pizza i haven't eaten much today i haven't had much of an appetite i've just sort of been i don't know i'm feeling okay i just I've had a lot on my mind with all the stuff going on Britt's been at work today. She's still at work, so I'm worried about her. My mom is still working, uh, though they've taken measures for to reduce physical contact with people. Like she's not meeting people face to face anymore. They have to bring her her their taxes, and then they they wait outside while she does their taxes. So that's good. But uh, yeah, I'm just very very. I wouldn't even say on edge, but I'm kind of like anxiously anxious is the word I'm looking for. I'm very anxious about where this is going and what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. And how long, how long are we going to have to do this? Is it just going to be two weeks? Is it going to be two months? Is it going to be six months? And at what point am I going to start feeling it in my job? So far, I still have this load of, load of ATVs behind me. So I haven't felt it yet, but you know, I'm going to start feeling it soon. <sighs> Hope you guys are staying safe. i got to wipe my nose. One second. On. Yeah. Yeah. Trying not to touch my face. But I think all this panic sort of plays with my mind. And I constantly think I'm getting sick, but I'm not. Like my stomach is grumbling now because I'm hungry. 
And the whole time I was sitting here, I was thinking, man, I wonder if I'm getting sick. My stomach's doing something weird. No, it's just grumbling. It's empty. It, it wants food. And stomach, it's, it's not a stomach issue. Like uh, COVID-19 is a respiratory problem. It's not, has nothing to do with the stomach really. Not much anyway, so. Are you guys sort of living on edge too? How is it? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm gonna leave the vlog here and tomorrow we'll pick it up. We'll go deliver uh, here in St. Paul. We'll go over to Edmonton, Barhead, and then we'll head into BC. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Take care, stay healthy and stay safe.